Greetings, welcome back. This is Queen L of Queen L79. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know that it has been a while. It's been mm, maybe a couple of weeks since I've um, taken the time to record a message for you all from the Spirit Guides. Um, today is um, 15 days past Juneteenth. And um, I just really felt compelled to record my videos for the month of July. As the title of the video states, this month I'm doing something a little different. If you haven't viewed any of my previous astrology videos, please feel free to do so. I will link the most recent one above, um, somewhere up there, and um, feel free to check that out. But um, for the month of July, and I'm a few days in, but um, for the month of July, I decided to switch things up a bit and to do videos specific to the elements of the zodiac signs. So um, as this video states, um, I believe I'm starting with the fire signs today, and um, I will have videos posted um, simultaneously for the fire signs, the air signs, earth signs, as well as the water signs. So stay tuned. Now this is um, not just for the sun signs. So the sun signs are the most universally recognized zodiac signs. So when you ask someone, what is your sign? Um, we're typically referring to the sun sign and that's the placement of the sun at the date um, of your birth. However, there are other um, aspects with regard to your birth or a natal chart, um, your astrological chart from the moment that you were born. And um, specifically, once you know um, or if you're aware of or can find out the time of your birth, you're able to identify other placements, other planetary placements, as well as um, the moon placement within your astrological chart. So um, the moon sign would be the placement of the moon at the time of your birth. And then there's something called the ascendant or the rising sign. And um, that's another planetary aspect with regard to your chart specific to the moment that you were born. So um, I will I won't dive too much into what the sun, um, the sun, moon, and rising signs mean. Um, that will be a future video. However, um, if you're interested in more information regarding that or to find out what your moon and rising signs are, please feel free to um, search online. The information is readily available. You're also welcome to ask me and I'd be happy to um, help you with regard to looking up that information for yourself. So without further ado, this video is specific to the fire signs and it is um, specific to um, your sun, moon, or rising. So you may have a sun sign that's a water sign, but your moon or rising sign might be a fire sign. So this message is relevant to anyone with a sun, moon, or rising fire sign. And so the fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So I'm always looking down at my planner just to make sure, you know, it keeps me honest and keeps me on track and on point with the message that I have for you. I've done research. I've taken notes with regard to all of the planetary transits and aspects that will take place for the month of July. So I just want to give a brief overview of those, um, letting you know some of the things to expect throughout this month of July. And then we will dive into a tarot message. Um, I'm burning I'm burning a candle today. I always burn some type of candle. And this candle is from my Queen L line of candles. Um, please feel free to check out my shop on Etsy. It is queenlstore.etsy.com. Again, that's queenlstore.etsy.com. I will link that information. Um, um, I like to play around with my videos a bit, so you may see it pop up on the video. Um, at the very least, you'll see it down in the description box. So again, please feel free to check out my shop. It's no obligation to do so. And um, if you feel so inclined, please 
um, feel free to make a purchase there. I'd really appreciate the support. So this is one of the candles in my line. This is, I don't have the label on it because this is my personal candle. Um, however, this is one of my aromatherapy intention candles. So I have intention candles and this one specifically is with regard to clearing your mind clearing your energy in your space and it's an aromatherapy candle because it has a lavender base to it um, lavender as well as frankincense and myrrh so please again feel free to check these out and so this one um, I can't show you because it's lit so I can't kind of tilt down to show you but it's an herbal candle it's um, a soy candle first and foremost which means it's all natural it's vegan and it has a clean burn to it so there's no um, residue or toxins that are um, emitted going into the atmosphere so you won't have to worry about inhaling any toxins which is very important and then also there are herbs in the candle and um, the herbs have those um, energy clearing and relaxation properties to them so again please feel free to check them out um, this candle has a net weight of eight ounces um, including the jar it's about a pound and four ounces and um, I always fill these almost up to the top as high as I can without um, losing the amount of the wick that I need to include and um, being able to have the herbs on top and um, this candle sells for um, $12.22 on my website actually third my apologies, 1333. I have, um, I've started posting some candles that um, don't have the herbal or um, the intention quality to them. And they're straight candles and those are selling, I'm the same size, selling for 1222. So again, check that out. Now, um, since I spent almost seven minutes just kind of doing a little housekeeping, um, I'll put a timestamp in the description box for anyone who wants to um, just jump right in to the message, okay? So again, this is for the fire signs. Now, just to give you some insight into some of the um, aspects that will take place, planetary aspects throughout the month of July, and then um, really the ones that are more pertinent for you. Um, and again, this is if you have a sun, moon, or rising that's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, these are the aspects that will affect you directly throughout the month of July, okay? So, um, on the first, which just passed a few days ago, um, however, the aspect, the planetary aspect is still taking place, so you'll still feel the effects of that. And this is just to um, give you a bit of explanation as to why that is. Now, on the first, we have um, the Sun conjunct Mercury and Cancer. And um, as I've said in other videos, a conjunction or conjunct relationship it's a positive relationship in the planetary aspects and um, it's beneficial so it's not just um, a positive relationship it's one where um, you will have to work with the whatever the planetary um, aspect is that you're coming in contact with um, you'll have to work with that energy. However, it's a beneficial relationship. It's a good working relationship, okay? So with the sun, um, and that's your purpose, being conjunct Mercury and Cancer, and we are in the, um, we entered into the zodiac sign of Cancer as well for this month. Now, um, Mercury and Cancer, that has to do with the way that you interact with others and um, to do so with compassion. So your purpose is directly aligned with that. And also it has to do with some heightened intuition that you'll notice in the early part of this month. Pardon me. <coughs> okay, thank you. So um, another thing that's taking place also in um, the first part of this month is the sun again in Cancer, as it is, um, sextile Uranus in Taurus. Now, a sextile relationship, it's another positive relationship. Um, it does require a bit more work. So um, if you, you're not willing to work with that energy that you're um, directly interacting with, then um, it could be a bit of more of a conflict but um, it definitely has the potential to be a positive relationship. So um, Uranus and Taurus, Taurus is all about creativity and that relationship between the sun and Uranus 
it's all about inspiration. So it just adds to that intuitive, um, purpose aligned um, energy that I mentioned before with the other aspect. Okay. Now, um, that means that for you, fire signs, so your inspiration and your purpose are directly aligned with each other at the beginning of this month, which is awesome. Now, the next thing, um, we skip ahead. So that's really the only aspect aside from the retrogrades that we have going on that are affecting everyone. Um, it typically affects the person who is um, of a specific zodiac sign at any given moment more than anyone else. So let's say, like I said, the sun is in cancer right now. Um, anyone who is um, has a zodiac sign of cancer, and again, that sun, moon, or rising, you will be um, a bit more um, directly impacted by the retrogrades as they move through your zodiac sign. And then as they move out, then you'll um, feel kind of the pressure and tension from it alleviated, okay? Now, um, when we get to the 12th of July, it's all about creative expression. And that's something I've been talking about for the past few months is tapping into that creative side of yourself, but not just tapping into that creative side of yourself, actually expressing that creativity. And that's because on the 12th, we have Mercury direct in Cancer, okay? So Mercury has been in retrograde, but on July 12th, it will become direct. So that means that a lot of people view retrograde as um, almost like a planet moving in reverse when that's not true, but it is the way that our purview is from Earth. It seems like it's moving backwards, but what is happening is the um, speed with which it is moving on its orbit is slowing down. And because we in Earth are moving in our own orbit, it has the appearance of almost like us passing it up and Mercury either just standing still or kind of moving backwards or backtracking. It's essentially just moving slower than it was. So let's say this is Mercury, this is Earth. So if we're both like moving in our little orbits and then all of a sudden we keep going at the same speed we were going, which obviously is a lot slower than what I'm doing, but we're moving like this and Mercury's been going like this and all of a sudden Mercury just starts slowing down then we're still going and we're like, hey, Mercury, where are you? And it's because it has slowed down. So we've been in Mercury retrograde for the past, um, um, at this point, the past about four, um, four and a half weeks. But um, as of July 12th, Mercury will go direct, which means it will be back on track with its regular orbit, its regular um, speed of its orbit, and it will be in cancer. So any type of issues that you've had, any conflicts you've had with communication with others, um, that, like I said, will be alleviated now that Mercury will be direct in cancer, okay? And so that's that compassion that I was talking about, and also that creativity and tapping into that intuitiveness, okay? So that's what's happening on the 12th for you. Now, on the 14th, I will tell you, <laughs> So we have um, the sun in um, Cancer, trine Neptune in Pisces. That's, again, that creative expression I was talking about. And a trine relationship, that's a blessed relationship. There are actual gifts to be gleaned from that relationship and that energy, okay? So that's that creative expression. But also, the sun in Cancer will be op in opposition of Jupiter in Capricorn. Now, what does that mean? Opposition is just as it sounds. There will be a direct conflict. Now, sun and cancer, that's your purpose. You know, the sun is all about your purpose. But being in opposition, Jupiter and, Cap and Capricorn, that means that um, there's a bit of some overbearing energy. And then also there's some, um, it's just like an overzealous type of energy taking place because of that um, opposing um, relationship or aspect. Now, um, there is some type of frivolous spending that could be taking place. So again, that's around the middle of July. So just think about that. Um, be mindful of it. Um, don't necessarily tap into it because overindulgence is not really good for anyone in any aspect of our lives. It's all about moderation throughout all of the different aspects of our life. So whether it's in our finances, in our um, emotional or intimate relationships, in our um, professional um, dealings with others. Um, it's just all about moderation and staying on an even keel, okay? So that's the 14th. Um, then we have the 15th. 
So the sun in Cancer again is in opposition yet again, now with Pluto in Capricorn. Now remember, we have all these retrogrades going on right now as well. So I believe that has a bit to do with the reason why we're in opposition with some of those planetary transits. So um, this one being in opposition to Pluto and Capricorn, that means that um, there will be some selfishness going on. Now here's the thing, because of this taking place right after the frivolous spending, um, I would say sometimes selfishness can be a good thing if you're someone who is typically um, almost looking after and nurturing everyone else to your own detriment. Sometimes you have to take a step back and do for yourself, think for yourself, think about yourself. And it's okay to put yourself first if you have a tendency to always put everyone before yourself. However, with this taking place right after the energy that I mentioned before of uh, that um, overzealous behavior, the frivolous spending, um, I would lean to toward thinking that that selfishness could be kind of, you know, a direct correlation with that frivolous spending. So just think about that. Um, just it's, this is all about being mindful of what energy you can expect and um, just to be conscious and conscientious about it. OK, so um, just, you know, think twice before making any type of impulse purchases, um, especially during retrograde as a whole, um, any type of new business contracts, new major purchases. You need to be mindful of that and kind of cautious about that anyway. But um, just note for you all, the fire signs, that um, the middle of the month, you may be presented with an opportunity to um, make some of those grand purchases. And it's just important, you know, even if you're like, you know what, I'm gonna do this for me, it's important to just take a step back and think twice, think a third time. You know, things that are meant for you will be yours regardless. Um, they won't just pass you by. So just take a moment to really think about it before you step ahead and make those types of moves or purchases, okay? So that's the 15th. Now we move to the 20th through the 22nd. Now, the 20th, we have the new moon in Cancer, okay? Now, this um, also is um, in conjunct with, not in conjunct, but in conjunct <laughs> with the sun. So, um, this means your purpose is aligned. Now, the new moon, there's that new energy. It's like embarking on a new um, an endeavor, a new adventure, a new journey. So, there's that excitement there. And just know that your purpose is aligned with that. So, if you, you know, take a step back, like I said the previous week, just, you know, really just being careful with your moves and how you move and, you know, who you interact with. Um, just know that coming, you know, on that third week of the month, um, entering the fourth week, that um, your purpose is aligned with that um, new moon energy and just starting something new. And also, um, this is also entering into Leo. So sun enters Leo on the 22nd. It's really... Um, all about um, it's nice to have that fiery energy especially because you know you're the fire signs um, but it's also um, great to know that you know with good measure like like I said with moderation and also with good balance I like to you know say that yes it's, it's great to have that fiery energy and to you know just kind of um, just be excited about the future um, to look at the glasses half full, not half empty, and just know that your purpose is aligned to the way, the way that you interact with others, that creative expression that you have, that energy that you have, that literal fire that you have within you, that is something that illuminates you to the world and to the masses. The people around you, they see the light shining off of you, radiating off of you. So it's important to tap into that energy as we enter Leo, okay? Also, we have Mercury and Cancer, sextile Uranus and Taurus. Now, a sextile relationship, like I said, that's a, a good working relationship. It's very beneficial. And um, as long as you work with the um, whatever the other planetary aspect is, then that's where you'll um, see the benefit of the relationship. So this one, it's all about originality and independence, just staying true to you, staying true to yourself. So just know that Again, just to recap, we're starting with our purpose being aligned 
to our intuition. That's that gut feeling that you have about certain things. Trust that gut. Trust it. That's the spirit, guys. That's your ancestors speaking to you and giving you guidance. So trust it. Stay true to it. So it's like we're starting the end of the month with that and we're ending the month of July with that originality, with that independence, with staying true to ourselves and not going with what everyone else is saying. I mean, going with the flow used to be um, what was recommended, what seemed to be most desirable. You know, go with the flow to avoid conflict, to avoid any type of um, unwanted issue that you have with anyone. However, um, there are times when you need to take a stand, and this is one of those times. So stay true to yourself. Always think about, you know, what you feel in your gut is best for you and best for your family, your loved ones, before just going along with the status quo or what others are saying is best for you. You know what's best for you, okay? So that's the message that um, the spirit guides have given me to give to you. I would like to pull some cards as well to add an extra layer to the message. So um, let me set my planner down. Sorry about that. Let me set my planner down and um, dive into some cards. So I have my Modern Witch Tarot deck. You know, that's my favorite deck. So I've already shuffled it. So I'll just, um, you know, just kind of give it like another quick little shuffle. I've already centered myself. Let's see. Okay. So the cards that I'm pulling, they're specific to this month of July, and I'm just asking the spirit guides, what message do you have for the fire signs? What message do you have for the fire signs? Message for the fire signs. Sun, moon, and rising. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 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 Let me cut the deck. Sun, moon, and rising. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, we have Ten of Wands. have the Page of Swords. We have Temperance. We have Two of Wands. We have the Sun. Okay. Now, the Ten of Wands. So our wand energy, that's all about our creativity. You know how I mentioned creative expression um, being a theme for you fire signs for the month of July. The wands that represents your creativity, your ideas, um, any type of thoughts that you have, um, and not thoughts in the mental state, but thoughts as far as your um, ideals, the ideas that you have with regard to um, those creative juices flowing and those creative endeavors. Okay, so kind of like your plans that you have. Now, um, this Ten of Wands, let's get some light off of it. The Ten of Wands, it's an overwhelming card. So um, you have a lot on your plate, okay? You have your um, a lot of um, fires burning at the same time. And so it's great to um, diversify. It's great to expand on um, the ideas that you have and to tap into a lot of different things, um, especially if you have a lot of ideas. You're like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. However, don't allow yourself to be burdened or overwhelmed with everything that you're attempting to do. Um, again, like I said, it's all about moderation and um, it's great to push yourself. It's great to challenge yourself, but um, it's better to really um, hone in on what your true gifts are that your purpose is aligned with. You know how I said at the beginning of the month, it's all about aligning your purpose and tapping into your intuition. It's great to figure out what those things are, meditate on it, um, pray, um, however you um, center yourself and feel connected to source, to the universe, um, to the creator. Um, it's important to hone in on what exactly you should be doing because um, as the saying goes, it's better to, um, it's not good to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. 
you know so that's the only thing with this one i would say is you don't want to um, inundate yourself with um, a lot of different things going on okay now the next one the page of swords so at the same time this is the time this is that new energy so the swords are all about um, our thoughts um, not really the acts of creativity because that the wine energy is putting it into motion the sword energy is all about your mental state it's all about um, just new innovative thoughts so um, with like I said you're um, wanting to tap into that creative expression of yourself and um, your gifts and your talents and it's okay to start something new so like I said with the retrograde being in effect um, and Mercury retrograde, it does end July 12th. So I would say this first half of July, not to sign or enter into any contractual agreement with anyone. But um, after Mercury goes direct on July 12th, full free, um, this is the planning time, the, the time where, you know, you're, you're laying the foundation. So you haven't necessarily acted on the things that you want to do. Um, and the plans, the new plans that you have, by all means, things that you've already put, set into motion, go full steam ahead. Um, however, for things that you have thought about but haven't actually started yet, um, it's okay to do the planning for this first half of the month and then save it for, I would say, the 12th or after to um, actually enter into any type of agreement or contractual arrangement with someone or some entity, okay? Um, so definitely get those juices flowing though, because this is the time there's that a lot of that energy around you. Okay. Now the next one, temperance. Now temperance is all about balance. So, um, the actual definition of the word temperance is to abstain from alcohol. Um, what it means in a spiritual sense, and especially, um, with the, the divination of tarot is it's all about, um, that moderation that I was talking about. So it depends on what area we're thinking of. So for you fire signs, I was talking about your creative expression, but I also mentioned how you need to be watchful and mindful of um, not having too much frivolous spending um, around the middle of the month. So temperance could be kind of aligned with that. You know, you need to just balance things out and practice moderation. You don't want to overextend yourself ever, but um, you'll notice the um, tug to do so around the middle of the month. And so don't do it, okay? Don't give in to that. Now, the next card is the Two of Wands. So that wand energy, like I said, is all about that creativity, those ideas that you have. Two of Wands, it's a new energy, but you're already seeing some of the fruits of your labor and you're looking ahead to um, what's to come. And so it's important to know that, um, you know, yes, keep, you know, your eye on the prize, but again, make sure that everything is in balance. So there's a lot of wand energy going on here. And then the sun, the sun is all about new, new life, new, um, just a whole new world. You know, it's all about that um, youthful fervor and just embarking on a new adventure. Like I said, with you starting out the, the month, you know, with your purpose being aligned and how um, aligned with your intuition, and innovation so it's important as you're tapping into that to know that um, there are new things on the horizon for you whether that's a new in new business venture i say definitely embark on it like i said save any type of actual concrete contractual agreement save that for the 12th or onward but um, definitely now is the time to plan that business that you've been thinking of doing do it the um you know, thoughts that you may have had about, oh, well, you know, I've been considering, you know, starting this or turning um, my hobby into an actual um, lucrative business, do it. I'm telling you that this is the time um, to tap into that energy and to, you know, step out, out there on faith, okay? You're not stepping out on a limb. You're not, you know, taking a risk or anything. That's negative talk. It's time to um, think positively and it's time to set your intentions and set affirmations today as we are 15 days past Juneteenth, but also having a full moon right now. So um, this weekend of July 4th, moving into July 5th, we have the full moon and also it's a penumbral lunar eclipse. So if you haven't seen my um, video from 
Um, last month, we had another penumbral lunar eclipse that was in June. So check that out. We have another one taking place in July. And um, it's again where we are, the lunar eclipse is where the moon is being eclipsed by Earth. So part of Earth's shadow will be reflected on the moon this evening. So um, you'll see it late um, and moving overnight between July 4th and 5th. So um, definitely tap into that full moon energy. And it's all about um, tapping into your true self, your hidden self, that um, shadow side of ourselves that we like to either suppress from ourselves or others or both. And it's time to tap into that energy so that you can um, move onward and upward, elevate yourself, elevate your psyche, elevate your spirit to move onward to more things, okay? Better things. Now, one last thing I wanted to do. I have, I'm sorry about the laptop. It seems like my desk is a little shaky this evening, but I have my um, energy oracle deck and I wanted to go ahead and to um, pull a few cards. If you haven't seen the unboxing video that I have of this deck, please check that out. I will link that as well. But um, I have these cards and I just wanted to pull at least one of the cards so that I can um, see if the spirit guides have um, any type of additional insight that they want to give us tonight, okay, for the fire signs. So um, cut this deck again. Okay. Spirit guides, what message do you have for the fire signs? That's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Sun, moon, and rising. Message for the month of July for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Sun, moon, and rising. Okay, now um, I'll show you these cards that I pulled. The first one is Door to Spirit. Let me, let me get the reflection off of it. Let's put it over here, see if that helps. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, Door to Spirit. So um, as it says, this is um, an image of a door. There's a white dove, and um, you could tell that when the door is open, that the spirit flows through. So there's a lot of um, spiritual energy that's flowing for you, fire signs. Um, this is just letting you know that the spirit is with you. Sometimes we feel so um, just consumed with a lot of external forces, um, different conflicts that we've been faced with. Um, and sometimes it weighs us down spiritually and has us feeling like we're all alone. And I'm here to tell you, you're not. The spirit guides are telling us that the door to the spirit realm has been open and the spirit is with you, it's within you. Your spirit guides, they're there. Your ancestors, they're there. They're there to guide you, to protect you, to um, just to welcome you into their arms and to just nurture you, okay? So I hope you feel the warmth because I feel it. Now, there's also um, the card of indecision. Now, this one, let's see, move it over this way again. Okay, so this is indecision. Now, um, again, as it states now in the image, there's a figure and they are um, standing at a crossroads and they have um, two different decisions to make. They have a choice to make. And it's important to know that um, if you have a decision to make that you need to tap into your intuition. Like I said, at the beginning of the month, um, there's your purpose being aligned with your intuition. Trust your intuition, trust your gut. That's the spirit guides leading you. Now, something else, the top of this card has the number eight. I like to turn the eight sideways and view it as an infinity symbol. Just know that there, um, everything is cyclical, okay? And as the spirits are um, welcoming you and as the spirit guides are within you and around you, um, around you rather, it's important to know that um, your life is, it's moving. It's moving along and it's working within you. It's working around you. That's what I keep hearing from the spirit guides is just the energy that is within you and around you. You are completely surrounded you are protected, okay? You are protected. 
So it's important to know that with this decision that you have to make, whether it's a business related decision or something within your personal life, it's important to know that the spirits, they have you, they've got you, and they are there to protect you and to look out for you. Trust your intuition. It's okay to, um, again, I would say to think before you act, but it's okay to make a, a decision and trust that your intuition is guiding you in the right direction, okay? And then this last card is the seven. Seven is the number in the spiritual world of completion. And also this card is community. And it's letting you know, as I said, with the spirits, the spirit guides, there's a sense of community all around you. And like I said, you are protected. You're protected from within and from around you. Okay, as within, so without. It's important to know that if you ever feel alone, like I said, there is a sense of community around you. There um, is a physical community around you. Um, there are people who are um, stepping in between you and any conflict you face on your behalf. You don't even know about it, but it's important to know. I'm telling you, the spirit guides are giving me the message for you to just trust it, to have faith, and just know that everything is going to work out in your favor, okay? This is all really positive, a lot of positive energy. Definitely don't overindulge. That's the message I have for you, as well as um, when the conflict comes your way, because this is life. There, you know, it's, it's not always um, rainbows and, and candy, you know, and um, just happy days all the time. However, just know that there are lessons to be learned and it's important in order to learn the lesson that we have throughout this life, the lessons that we have, it's important that you just tap into your intuition and let that guide you and that will help you to navigate your life, okay? So um, remember what I said about the endeavors that you have to start the planning now and get ready to start those new ventures towards the middle to the end of the month. Um, definitely don't overindulge. And definitely, um, if you're faced with any type of conflict around that 20th through the 22nd, to um, definitely just use your intuition, let your intuition guide you, okay? So that's the message that I have for you today. Um, and it's the message for July for those fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. It has been a blessing. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been my pleasure. Um, Ashe, thank you so much. Peace.